Yo! Yo, yo. A lot of people in here. A lot of people in pre-chat. <laughs> hey, Chevy's in the background. Hey, Chefster. Hey, Chevy Cat. What's up? Yo, yo, yo. What's good? You were watching the Revive Wish VOD. Uh, let me get a little background music. Let's go, baby! Uh, <laughs> uh, I was watching Get Smarter Thursdays with my... Oh, yeah, what's up? Uh, uh, Fulcrum... Vo oh, <laughs> Yodi gang? Yodi gang, Yodi gang, Yodi gang. Uh, you might be wondering whether what I tweeted today was actually real. And I have some unfortunate news. Yeah, I'm just telling them about the... It's going to be quick, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I got some unfortunate news. By the way, happy birthday to Ari. If you guys... You know what you should do, actually, is you should go right now. Everyone here, go to Instagram.com slash the foam foundry. Uh, she hasn't really used this one in a while. Sad. She doesn't really have any public. What's her Twitter? Magical. No, I'm not going to do a 24-hour stream. Yeah, it's Maggi Milk. If you want to tweet at her. At Maggi Milk. If you want to say happy birthday. That would be sick. Anyway, so I got this tattoo. Uh, <laughs> getting a tattoo after your team wins. That shows pride. But getting a tattoo the day before they play in a high stakes finals. That shows motherfucking confidence, baby. <laughs> I can't even show it on camera. <laughs> It's currently wrapped, is the thing. <laughs> Wait, let's see if I can get this down. Uh, it would be crazy if I fell right now and then broke my fucking arm. All right, let's see. We can get this. We can figure this out. All right. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. By the way, the ticker fit goes dumb hard. Okay, how about this? <sighs> nope, not even, that's exactly where it started. This is exactly, okay. <laughs> Move back a little bit. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can get this wrap off. <sighs> Oh, <laughs> he told me this might happen. There's a little bit of blood in there. I actually can't unwrap it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You'll see it tomorrow. The point is, this is real. Actually, I actually have a video. Wait, I have a video that I sent to stands. Uh, imagine. <laughs> this would be insane. This would be an insane long con. Uh, where did I send it to stands? Was it on fucking Twitter? Nathan stands. So here's the deal. Here's what happened. If you guys want to know, is I posted on Twitter a, I don't know, a few weeks ago, like early on in the playoffs. I said, hey, if Faker gets his fourth, I will get a tattoo. Yeah, here it is. 
if Faker wins it all this year, I'm getting a T1 tattoo. And then I was at dinner with um, like Slime and Nick and the boys uh, all recently. And I was just, well, I don't know, we, this came up for whatever reason. We were talking about it. And we realized it would be way fucking funnier <laughs> if I'm going to get it to get it before the finals. Because here's the two outcomes. Either it's right, and I was the most fucking confident call of all time. I literally got the fucking tat to prove it. Or I'm wrong. <laughs> and it's the funniest fucking tattoo you could have, dude. I can't think of a funnier tattoo than World Champs 22. <laughs> it's kind of like the GOAT. It's kind of the GOAT option select. So, uh, this is actually my tattoo. This is on my ankle, right? This is the first tattoo I've ever gotten. I've always thought of myself as not really a tattoo person. But somehow this stuck in my brain as the funniest fucking thing. So then I uh, I asked Nick if he knew any good tattoo people. And he recommended me somebody. And they were really nice. So, we we locked it in. That being said, I am a hardcore. I'm showing up tomorrow. T1 jersey. T1 jacket. T1 tat. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can get a little T1 face tats. Not real. I mean, these will be fake, but I'm going all in, dude. Um, surely you will never regret it. Well, if they win, to be honest, if they win, I might regret it in like 10 years. <laughs> you know, like when I no longer care. But if they lose, I'll probably never regret it. Because <laughs> I think that's, I think it's a funny story for the rest of my life if they lose. Uh, but, but if they win, I'll be super happy tomorrow. So it's fucking fine either way. Um, mm, mm, mm. big A looking like he faded than a hoe. I'm not currently faded than a hoe though. I am always Yodi gang, Yodi gang, Yodi gang, Yodi gang, Yodi gang. Did he actually get the tattoo? Yeah, I fucking got the tattoo, bro. I commit to the fucking bit, dude. And I promised that I would get one anyway. If they won. So it's just funnier to get it first. Um, need I say more, dude? How was the pain? Bro, everyone that complains about tattoos is a huge fucking complaining, lying. I'm kidding. <laughs> but it wasn't bad at all. I felt very little pain. Um, uh... Show it to them in the match. I swear to God, this is my tat. It's underneath there right now. But right now, when I take it off, there's a sticker over this, like a clear sticker, and in between the layer, there's some blood. <laughs> so I don't really want to show it right now, but I will. And uh, yeah, this is the tat. Uh, I think it's gonna be so fucking great if they win. I'm very, very excited. If you guys don't know, like, I mean, I think I've mentioned this. I'm probably on my stream now, but. I uh, used to write about Korean League of Legends, and I wrote an article about Faker's very first game back when I was super fucking grinding in it, and I called him the future overlord of League because I was just so impressed with his first game. And then I used to study all of his games back when I was a DJ and League grinder. I used to, like, watch all of his solo queue games and download them. Uh, I've, been a, I've been a Faker fan for a fucking minute, dude. To see him get four, like, this fucking far into his career, it would be so sick. Should have got the tattoo then. If I called it back then, if I if I had a tattoo that said T1 World Champions 22 <laughs> back in 2012, that would have been fucking sick. Um, you can always just cover the bottom if they don't win. I'm, <laughs> let me tell you something. If they don't win, this is the funniest fucking tattoo I could ever have. <laughs> it, you understand that this is the option select of the century. Uh... It was like the one guy that got Celtics 2022 tat. Yeah, but he also got the Celtics tat. That's the one thing I did say. Here's what I said. Because I do think this tattoo's funny. And I am uh, stoked about it. I didn't put it somewhere where I will be seeing it often. <laughs> I'll just say that. You know what I'm saying? He put it on the fucking shoulder. And he made it big. Uh, I I wanted a little, a little smaller. A little more concealed. Uh, it is on my body. It is inked. But, uh, yeah, you know, hey, hey. <laughs> if they lose in 22 and win in 23, I'll cross it out. Um, 
should have put it on your ass for top level funnies. Yeah, I think I'll stick with what I did and and lose out on the top level funnies. Um, this guy did the same thing with soccer back in 2018. Did he lose? Be so fucking funny. <laughs> and thanks for the gifties. Um. <laughs> Bro, it, oh, anonymous. Thank you for the five gifted. Wow, anonymous gifter. Probably a T1 fan, I assume. A fellow. Oh, by the way, bro. Uh, the second I tweeted it, the fucking CEO of T1 retweeted it, and he replied. <laughs> Wait, where is he? The fucking CEO of T1 retweeted it. it dropped a fucking reply. So I'll probably party with Faker tomorrow is what I'm telling you. Base Joe Marsh. Uh, Yeah, fucking Chad. Chad it up. Together is one. Destiny is all. Hashtag T1 win. Uh, So, yeah, I mean, tomorrow is either going to be a fucking legendary, legendary. <laughs> oh, wait, did he tweet this? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well said. No regrets, baby. It's the way I live. Grip and rip it. Um, Because we got a box for tomorrow. We're fucking boxed up. So, God, it's going to be so good if Faker wins. And if Faker doesn't win, I'm getting blackout drunk. I'm not streaming for a week. So, you guys will either see me and it'll be the best fucking celebration stream of all time. Or you're not going to see me for a fucking week, dude. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you going to IRL stream? Oh, no. Probably not. Probably not, but I guess if the Wi-Fi is good, maybe for my phone, I do something. Um, what's worse, you after T1 loses or stands after Gen G loses? I thought it'd be stands because I've seen like stands when the Suns lost in that terrible Game Seven. <laughs> it's the saddest I ever seen, my boy. <laughs> when the Suns got owned by the Mavs in that Game Seven, stands was actually fucking miserable. But when Gen G lost this year, he was actually pretty chill about it. He was fine. So maybe he's just more of a Suns guy than a Genji guy now. I don't know. But I'm going to be really sad if T1 loses tomorrow. Because I've been really fucking invested this world more than usual. And I've watched I watch T1 every year uh, in the playoffs. They always, they always make it out of groups. They always go quarters to semis. And they've been knocked out. Um. Uh... How sad was Stans the Suns got destroyed in the finals? He actually wasn't as sad for the finals because that was like a miracle run. Like the Suns did better than he thought. But then he was they were supposed to beat the Mavs, so he was more sad. Um I think it's about expectations. Suns weren't meant to be the Mavs. Genji, no, I think Genji was kind of meant to win it all. If you were to pick a favorite for worlds, it would be Gen G, because they're the best team out of Korea and Korea's the best region. Um How sad was Stans when he woke up as a baby in Arizona? <laughs> Arizona's not that bad. What the, where the fuck are you from that's so great? That, <laughs> wait, that's not terrible to be born in Arizona. Uh, I just joined what game finals is this? No, no. The finals is tomorrow. Finals is tomorrow at 3 p.m. Something like that. At uh, Chase Center where the Warriors play. Uh, it's going to be DRX versus T1. One of the greatest worlds thus far ever this year has been one of the best worlds in League of Legends history. Uh, bar none, some of the best games, best series. Faker, the living legend, the greatest of all time, hasn't won a title in like five, six years, something like that. And is finally back in the finals with an all-new team. He has a chance to win an unprecedented fourth title. I think no one else even has... No one has three. I don't know if anyone else even has two. Um, starts at five. Oh, I'm sorry, my my uh, my seats open up at three. Um, oh yeah, the coach. Does that count? <laughs> wow, well, he's a coach, so he's never getting more than three. Uh, I know he was a player, but did he get all three as a player? Or are you talking about did he get two as a player and one as a coach? 
T1 didn't like your tweet. Well, their CEO retweeted it, so I'll take that. Um, are you still subbing in for Faker? Well, if they need me. <laughs> if T1 needs me, I will still sub in. But I feel like I might, you know, I'm so eager for them to win now that I it might get in my head up there. Now that I got this tattoo, I'm going to try really, really hard. If they really need a, like if Fizz makes sense for the comp, then of course I'll join in because I'm the best Fizz in the world and I can obviously bring T1 the victory they need. But if I'm not going to like force it. You know what I'm saying? I, I definitely want Faker's chance to shine. Because realistically, they could just pull me up there and then I could win three games quick and then Faker won't get to enjoy the moment. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, is this a real, it's like a real, it's a real fear I had when I was getting my tattoo. Uh, wait, here's the video. BT flubs. Oh, wait, I actually texted it to him. Oh, wait. Mm, how about I just like do this? Yeah. Is that a video? There it is. Okay. Um What champs do you think are getting world skins? I don't What they should do is give Faker a new rise one. That'd be slick. Like a real you know here's what I honestly think you should do. This is not a joke. I legitimately think if Faker wins four, they should change Rise's default skin to Faker. <laughs> they should just get rid of the character Rise and it should be Faker. Like, it should just have his face. And I I think that would be the goaded like all timer. He should be a character in the game. Instead of just a skin. Because he doesn't even use skins anyway. He only uses defaults. So it would be sick to have. Mm. Um, Ishrock just beat Melania. Thank you for giving me strength. I don't know that I necessarily helped you with that, but I will take the credit. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, everything you're saying today sounds reasonable coming from a mentally stable person. Great. I'm glad you agree. Um, Brandon Beck has to call himself Faker. <laughs> Doesn't make sense, right? <laughs> Are you going to do a finals watch party? No, I'm going to be at the finals. So, no. I will not be doing a finals watch party. Saikuno will, though. <laughs> so, maybe we'll, uh, we'll we'll try to jump on Saikuno's stream. Uh, Big A, I have a marketing midterm tomorrow. What advice can you give me? Give it your all. <laughs> Remember, product, price, promotion, place. <laughs> the big four. Uh, you have an exam on Saturday? Wait a minute. I'm sorry. You have a marketing exam on Saturday? Product price promotion and poggers. <laughs> I'm done hearing that Faker's so effortlessly cool. He puts in the most effort. Oh, he puts in the effort. All right. Faker's so effortfully cool. Which is also cool. Explain Faker in arcane terms. He's like, um, I don't know. He's he's like, fucking. <laughs> he's none of the characters in arcane. I don't know. He's got like the brains of Silco, but the good heart of Caitlyn. Okay, bat chest. Hmm. Do you get it? <laughs> and the good looks of Jace. Uh, he's explained Gen G in Fortnite terms. They're like a guy that can crank 90s really well, but then chokes. <laughs> so you're like, wow, this guy can really crank 90s. But then like when it comes time to win, they don't like do it. Too soon? Mm. Stan's told me he was going to get a DRX tattoo. So fucking it's not too soon. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Genji and the horse they rode in on, dude. Woo! 
I'm actually super stoked that Genji didn't make it to finals because Genji 3 0'd T1 last time they played. So, you know, theoretically, DRX should be an easier opponent, although <laughs> DRX is looking fucking amazing. Um, I know you think Overwatch Esports is hella cringe, but the grand finals today was having me bat just in all over the place. It was so fucking intense. Was it actually good? Was grand finals of Overwatch League today good? I assume my answer is assumed no. But I guess maybe it could have been if you're a real Overwatch head. It was actually insane. 3-3. Three, three, intense. Bro, I'm going to be so fucking... I mean, there's no chance I care about it. But if you're an Overwatch fan, maybe you could go relapse. Check it out. Overwatched more like no one watched. <laughs> fucking true, dude. Apparently they hit 300k though. Uh, apparently they hit 300k. And that's YouTube. But they also like... Blizzard loves to do the tricks, bro. Blizzard will put it in the launcher. They'll put it in the launcher and they'll put a drop on fucking watching it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's not it's not authentic viewership. So they'll have like 200k people that like want the fucking world skin or whatever. And they'll have like 30k people that are idling it in the watcher, in the launcher. And then they'll have like fucking 5k people that are like, yeah, bot chest. <laughs> I love the Dallas fuel. Um, oh, doesn't League do the exact same thing? No, no, not not really. Um, um. My game is a joke. Hey, if you like, you like it. End of the day, if you like it, you like it. Don't let the haters tell you different. Like, for example, if someone tells you it's a bad idea to get a tattoo of predicting your team's victory the day before they play a high-stakes finals, <laughs> say, fuck it. Say, I don't want to hear your bullshit. <clears throat> did you? I did not watch the grand finals. Anyway, today's stream is going to be very short. It's Ari's birthday. I just took her to Disneyland. Oh, I wanted to tell my Disneyland story, though. Uh, my Disneyland story is fuck Disney and the horse they rode in on, dude. And I'm a Disney investor. <laughs> what, I want to sell my fucking shares, dude. I wait with the fucking... Do you guys know the fucking uh, Rise of the Resistance fucking... We watched a video on it on this stream. The Rise of the Resistance ride. That's supposed to be like their goaded ride. It's supposed to be the fucking goat of rides. Okay? Well, we did the fucking the super Disney spaceship thing in Florida, the 5k one. And when we did that, they dropped us off at the park and they were like, go do whatever you want. And you can skip all the lines. And we go to that. It's closed. All right. Fucking closed. They say it's, it's broken. It's broken. It's closed all day. So, all right, we missed our shot. That sucks ass. So today I go to Disneyland in California and I'm like, there's a duplicate there. We're definitely going to get to go. We get there. We're in line. As we're in the line, they go, Hey, everybody get out of line. <laughs> it's broken. All right, it's broken. Start over. So I'm pissed. I'm furious. I ask him like, "Wait, what the fuck? Like, when is it opening? We like paid for the fucking fast pass and everything. Where the hell's the fucking thing?" And they're like, "Oh yeah, it'll be open again. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry." Don't worry. So we leave. We go. We do some shit. I think we go to Indiana Jones, a different ride. We wait in that line for 40 minutes, and then they go, "Hey, it's broken, <laughs> but it'll be open soon. So don't leave the line." So everybody's just waiting in a line that's not moving, waiting for the fix the fucking Indiana Jones ride. And then <laughs> eventually they're like, uh, you should probably leave. <laughs> so we leave the line. We came back at the end of the day just to check. And it never opened up again. People waited in that fake line for fucking hours, waiting for it to reopen. Uh, thank God we left that line. Anyway, uh, bad things. A lot of things getting broken. We still have a lot of fun time. Park's pretty good. Like we had a good time, good food. And then I leave um, at, you know, fucking 7, no, no, earlier than that, like 5 p.m. I go and get my tattoo, just pop out of Disneyland, <laughs> pop out of Disneyland, get a tattoo, all right, as one does, knock that out, come back to Disneyland, okay, and everyone's tired. I come back to Disneyland, everyone's tired. Uh, it's my parents and, my, and, and Ari. 
And um, they're like, yo, let's go to dinner. And I was like, wait, what if we, <laughs> well, actually, they said uh, Rise of Resistance is open again. Uh, and then Ari's like, do you want to go with me? Like, you and me go. So I get back to Disneyland. It's dark, by the way. Now it's like 730. The park is like dark as shit. And we're at the entrance. And Rise of Resistance is the other side of the fucking thing. It's like, it's like the other side of the park. A big, huge, long-ass walk. But I'm like, I do want to do it. <laughs> so let's go. So my parents leave. Me and Ari walk through the dark park all the way to the other side of it after coming back from the tattoo. We get all the way to Rise of Resistance. We get there. It's open. It's finally fucking open. All right, we get in line with our fast passes that we paid for. We go through the fast pass line, which is full. So it's a long wait. Even with the fast pass, it's like a super fucking long line. We wait all the way through the whole fucking line. This is a dark in night, and we're tired. We get into the ride. The ride starts. Oh, yeah. Here's Ray. Here's Poe Dameron. Here's fucking BB-8. They're all talking to me. Yes. Yes, dude. Bat chest. I'm in the world of Star Wars. Um, They put you on a little shuttle. You're going into space now. Oh, no. You've been caught by a tractor beam. Oh, you get pulled into the first order ship. And then it opens up. <laughs> and there's like a wall of stormtroopers. This is the opening of the ride. I was a little spoilers. There's a wall. You, you get pulled into the ship. It opens up. There's a wall. Of, they're all aiming your guns at you. It's pretty sick. And then a guy dressed as like a first order officer walks on the ship. And he looks at everybody and he goes, okay, guys, I need you to file. Single file over here. The ride's actually closing down. <laughs> the ride's actually closing. Um... Yeah, we've had technical issues, so everyone needs to get the orderly line, and we're going to have to leave. You can take photos with the stormtroopers, but the rest of the ride's not happening. We need... <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. Holy fuck, I was pissed. So then we have to just sit there while they set up all the thing, and then we have to shuffle out the back in, like, the, the crew area. Like, there's the break room. <laughs> We're like passing the bathrooms and the break rooms in this fucking dimly lit hall. And we're all just <laughs> so fucking like no immersion. Oh, God, dude. And then they finally I had to sit in a fucking longer line to get a refund on our fast pass from one guy on one phone in the dark. He had to check everyone's phone, scan it with his phone, do a little thing, and give him the refund. It was, oh, it was fucking stupid. <laughs> um. Did you film your Disney visit so you can use it as a tax write-off? I filmed it so I can use it as motive when I snap. <laughs> so I can put it in my fucking note, dude, when I snap. That's why I filmed it. Um, when I go Joker, dude. Uh, why didn't you just say no? No to what? Uh, this happened to me on Space Mountain. Actually, Space Mountain was really fun. Oh, dude, I forgot to mention the worst part. <laughs> Wait. I forgot to mention the very worst part. We get there early in the fucking morning. We woke up. We left at 8 a.m. We get to Disneyland right as it opens, all right? We're there early. And there's not a lot of lines when we get there early. And the first thing we do was going to be go to Rise of the Resistance. But we pass along the way Splash Mountain. And I see Splash Mountain has no line. <laughs> so I go, hey, guys, guys, what if we do Splash Mountain real quick? Just knock it out. There's no line. Splash Mountain's pretty fun. And we get in. Ari doesn't want to do it. Ari, Ari says she's not going to do it. So Ari stands up because she doesn't like, she doesn't like it anyway. So I get in Splash Mountain, and <laughs> uh, I get seated in the front of Splash Mountain. And you guys know Splash Mountain has one big drop at the end, and you get you get a little splash, you get a little wet. But I'm like, okay, it can't be that bad because I see the guys in front of me, and they're getting off. They don't look that wet. They look like, they look. It's fine. All right. So I get in Splash Mountain. This is the first ride of the day. <laughs> In Splash Mountain, it's basically like a bunch of little dips. Doop, 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 fun little thing. And then right at the end, it's this big fucking dip. <laughs> I'm not kidding. The very first dip, and it's a small one. The very first dip. Like, it's like, bloop. It's like my entire body is soaked. It's like two children came up with full tubs of gallon water and poured it all over my body. I don't know what the fuck happened. I don't know what trick of physics is. Bloop, it all floods over the side. I'm in the front seat. My entire pants are soaked. At the entire jean, top to bottom, through my underwear. <laughs> Completely soaked. <laughs> like, just drenched. And by the way, jeans don't dry easy. 
So the whole fucking day, I'm like getting, <laughs> just walking around in wet jeans, top to bottom, my Disney shirt, my fucking Tigger shirt soaked. Uh, very first thing in the day. Uh, didn't get to use the human dryer. I don't know what that is. Uh, <laughs> is my phone good? Yeah, my phone was on. My phone's waterproof. Samsung, baby. I guess probably Apple too, huh? But anyway, it's fine. Uh, my passport got a little wet. My money got a little wet, but it was fine. It was just fucking annoying, dude. It just actually just it, just, it just sucks walking around in wet jeans, dude. Uh, and so I was walking slowly because of that, and then we got to Rise of Resistance late, which kicked off the whole fucking problem. Um, passport Disneyland. I carry my passport everywhere because I love to have it. Um. Uh, but that just means you were extra drippy. That pun did not help me in the moment. That being said, all of what I'm saying aside, I had a great time. It was a good time. But those are still things that I think the good people of Disney's CEO management team, Bob Iger would never have allowed that on his watch, is all I'm saying. Okay? Bob Iger, the GOAT, would never have allowed that on his watch. But now that he's retired, Disney's fallen uh, to disrepair, dude. They've completely lost. Oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck. Um. Uh. You should buy Disney and fix it. Yeah, it's going so well for... Elon Musk right now. <laughs> yeah. That the whole concept of having a uh an idea that you know a company's problems better than them that you could just easily snap your fingers and fix them and then spend a bunch of money for that. That's a good it's always worked. Um Chad Iger versus the Virgin Chapek. Yeah, hundred percent. Um Anyway, I'll talk more about Elon Musk probably on Monday, assuming Faker doesn't lose. Uh, I am. I will be going tomorrow. I'm flying to uh, SF for the finals, so I'll be out. I also got a bunch of um, got a bunch of DMs when I posted the tattoo today. <laughs> a bunch of like old league friends, and then also like T1 fans. Uh, so I don't know. I might meet up with some people that I haven't seen in a while. Team up with people. Um, anyway. No, it was real. You thought the tattoo wasn't real? No, it's fucking real. <laughs> it's real. I'll just show you right now. Because I actually have the file now. Mm-hmm. This is today, brothers. This is Jose. <laughs> He kept telling me, man, I hope they win. <laughs> he knew what league was. He wasn't like a, he didn't follow it super closely, but he knew what league was. My fly is not unzipped. It's a three button fly. There's no zipper at all. Um, he, uh, he kept saying, uh, he didn't do the Celtics guy statue. <laughs> He kept saying, man, I really hope they win, man. <laughs> I really hope they win. Uh, Ashrek, I sent your top 10 most pricey video to my marketing teacher. Want me to tweet you it? <laughs> what do you mean? You sent it to him? Do you want me to tweet me that fact? <laughs> or what? Is he playing it in class? If he plays it in class, you can tweet it. Um... Uh, he sabotaged himself in a way. Uh, does Jose do tat removals? I'm not removing this tat. <laughs> the only way I'm removing this tat is if they win again next year. <laughs> they win this year, win again next year. I'll remove it and make it bigger, bro. That's <laughs> that's the only change I'm making. Uh, I'll, if they win again next year, I'm getting fucking a full bot. No, I'm, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> the problem is people hold me to it. Yeah, I know. I got a full body faker riding a dragon, dude. Uh,
Just change the. T <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Faker, Faker slaying Baron on the back. Faker riding dragon on the front. <laughs> uh, that would be. That's a good tat. Anyway, any hoot, guys. I'm probably gonna go to bed. I, I actually, well, I'm gonna go hang out with Ari. Uh, it's your birthday. I just wanted to say hey, say what's up, tell you the story. The tattoo, tattoos is real. Uh, and it's going to be very, very awesome, an awesome fucking bold call tomorrow, or it's going to be the funniest tat of all time. <laughs> we'll see. We'll fucking see. Uh, either way, I'm pot committed. I hope you guys have a great night. Sevens. Um, wish me luck tomorrow. Hope you guys tune in support faker. Cheer them on. Um, Will I be back tomorrow? No. Tomorrow I'm all day gone. Might stream on my phone if I can, but and then I'll be back the day after. I fly back tomorrow or the day after morning. So Sunday morning I'll be back. And probably on Sunday I'm gonna just play a whole bunch of Hitman. If I'm being honest. Uh do a whole bunch of uh who's live? I can raid somebody. I can pass a little pass a little. I'm in raid streaming for fucking ten minutes, but um Uh, is slime live slime was the biggest supporter of this tattoo all sevens to slime dude slime uh, was pot committed to this tattoo from the moment we talked about it he thought it was so fucking funny uh he's not live all right we'll, we'll just have to ray worry kitty i guess curious cinderella Go watch Cutie. And she's playing League of Legends, actually. Perfect. So she can comment on why it's such a good idea to get this tattoo. If she says anything otherwise, um, she's lying. <laughs> if Cutie tells you this tattoo was a bad idea, she's actually just trying to deceive you. Because she's jealous. Uh, did I raid? She was... Last time I read it, she was in such a bad mood because of League of Legends teammates, which does happen. Uh, the raid's not working. I'm slash raiding Cutie Cinderella. Did she change her fucking username? What the hell's going on? Uh, it's not working at all. Am I blocked? 